Welcome back to the St. John Speed Shop, fellow modelers. Top of the morning to you. And today's review is the AMT 2005 Chrysler 300C. Been wanting to build this for some time. Had no idea what color I wanted to paint it, but now I got one. So I've got to build as far as I can go without paint as usual. So let's get into scoping out these parts. Here we got the chassis. A lot of chrome in this kit, if that's your thing. This is all going to get painted black and painted silver or whatever instructions require or whatever I think looks cool. No problems with building this kit so far. But I did have a piece missing from the box. The mirror image, the mirror piece to this one right here, this little hook shaped, whatever it is, goes here. The part of the sprue it attaches to wasn't even there. That was cracked off, so nothing that I did. But it's no big deal. It's just a missing part. It's not going to affect the uh, suspension or the uh, stance of the car. But that piece was completely missing. Yeah, front suspension. Went together no problems. It's a little bit complicated, but got it done. It's you know feels rock solid. Where's that engine? You know if they're building so many old cars, I can't get used to the look of a modern engine. I mean, you take all this stuff off of it, and it almost looks like a straight six. And you know, what is a Hemi engine? No problems with this one. Can't wait to get paint on it. But I did hit a little bit of a snag with this one. There's this, uh, yeah, it's not showing up here, but this piece here was part of a larger hose or whatever. It went under, it attached here. But it created problems with this piece here fitting correctly. This goes on top of here, on top of the engine. Kind of hard to see the locator holes. But that fits fine now, but with that hose in place, it, this part just wouldn't seat properly. So I just glued it here, because this is the only part of it you see. Glued that on, hacked off the rest. End of story, problem solved, no big deal. It, I'm just itching to get to the interior. That's a big dashboard. Probably in a two-tone that. Just don't know what colors I'm going to use. One of the uh, side panels. We'll uh, get some shading in there. Here's your chrome exhaust. Like I said, a lot of chrome with this kit. But that's going to get painted black and then probably sprayed silver. That's, just, that's too much flash for me. The body on this kit looks pretty nice. As usual, I don't see any flash, but I'm going to give us a good eyeball before I get the paint. Try not to miss anything this time. I'm real good for that. This is one of the few modern body styles I still like. Along with the Charger and Challenger other than that. Most new American cars, cars in general, totally blow. But this is one of the body styles I like. This one looks cool. Can't miss it. Distinctive. Classy. It's a front end. But I'm going to get in some serious paint on this bad boy tonight. So, these reviews aren't the most exciting, but you gotta gotta include them so you guys know what's involved. Now the decals. That's the decal sheet. It's all you get. You got the emblems for the 
you know, the badges, license plates, two different sizes. But I have no idea what these in the square ones in the middle are. They're not any instructions. They kind of look like computer screens or something, but this car predates all that. I have no idea what those are. If you have a clue, leave a comment because I have no idea. Well, that's about it. And the finish build something like that car in a box just a much different color but uh, I'm gonna get to this building and well no I'm gonna get to this painting and I'll have a review for you guys in another day or so well, I'm not sure how long it's gonna take it's gonna I take my time I try to get the job done right but as soon as I got something to show you I'll show it to you but with that have a good one this review's over with and I am out of here adios